everyone. Uh, the military is coming out to say that uh, they will not allow protesters to burn down a country or do whatever, however. Protesters don't burn that country. They've never burned that country. It's terrorists that are burning that country. Terrorists, terrorists have been destroying Nigeria, killing people, you know, destroying our properties and, and, and all of that. And Nigeria has given you money again and again and again to go and fight them, yet you've been unable to fight them. Corruption has been so right in, in, in all, all the things that you guys are doing. Men on, men, men on the, uh, our foot soldiers have complained severally how their allowances are being denied uh, them. They are not being paid. They are not being fed very well. They are not being taken care of. How sabotage has been going on. So the military should focus on itself and focus on the fact that they have, they have been a lot of sabotage and they, and they uh, contributed to crippling Nigeria and putting Nigeria, you know, where, where, where it is. The protesters is not their business. People have constitutional right to protest and people are going to protest when they protest and how they protest within the ambit of the law. So it is not the business of, of military to come out and be talking nonsense and be making statements. You dare not make statements. It's because we have a country that is upside down. That's why you leave your barrack that you're supposed to focus on and come and be putting out in civilian, you know, civilian uh, discussion. This is not, we don't have military rule in, in Nigeria. This is not the time of the peace. It's so disrespectful that we have, you know, the Nigerian military will come out and be talking nonsense to citizens. Every day they are being dead by uh, what, what do you call them terrorists. Yet they do nothing. Yet they sit down there. Yet terrorists are killing them left, right, and center. Instead of them to go after the terrorists and actually deal with them, protect the territorial integrity of Nigeria, the Nigerian military would rather sit down and be denying, debasing, humanizing their own soldiers, denying the fact that they were killed or in injured, lying through their teeth and all the time, coming out to recant statement. But it is when it is time for uh, protesters that the Nigerian military knows that it has mouth. The Nigerian military should stay in that manner that they're supposed to. Go out there, go and fight terrorists, go and fight bandits, go and fight unknown government, go and fight uh, kidnappers, go and fight all those, all those elements that are out there that, 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 that are threatening the territory and territory of Nigeria, that are threatening the security in Nigeria, that are threatening the lives and properties of, of, of citizens of Nigeria. That's what the military is supposed to do. The military has no business with the protests that citizens are planning. Citizens have a right to plan protests. They have a right to come out. Within the, it's been constitutionally given to them. So it's not for them to come and tell us that, oh, uh, if there's any uh, uh, protest, if there's any uh, 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 whatever they should, yes, they know that the law allows it, but they will not tolerate body. The only people who do body is the military itself, is the police itself, is the hoodlums that they bring on. The military have been seen several times carrying hoodlums, carrying thugs that are going to come out and attack protesters. Protesters will be out there, you know, protesting peacefully, doing the things that they're supposed to do within the ambit of the law, and then you will have uh, uh, the military will use their vehicles to convey thugs, to convey, you know, the thugs that will go out and attack not only protesters, but begin to go, go and, and, and attack properties of the nation. So please, focus on what you're supposed to focus on. Focus on the job. The trillions of dollars that have been given to you, how many Many years over a decade to fight in such insurgency, you've not been able to do that. The Nigerian military is them to be ashamed of themselves instead of them to never hear them speak every time to come out and come and say nonsense to run. You've been fighting that tag army up till now, you've not won it. Why? Your soldiers have said that the officers there every time that they are sabotaging them when they want to fight the war, they are fighting them. You've not come out to them, not asked you. I don't even blame you. Is the see is the commander in chief that we've had in Nigeria that have sat down and not done the things that they're supposed to do. You sit down there, you've, you've crippled the nation. We don't have we don't have investment in the nation. People cannot go to their farm. Hunger that is on land is partly contributed to the Nigerian military's failure to do what they're supposed to do, to go after the, uh, the uh, insurgents, to go after the terrorists, to go after the bandits, to go after the kidnappers. They have not allowed farmers, you know, to, to, to go to farms and farm. And that has led to the cost of living in Nigeria, cost of food in Nigeria. And yet the military has the audacity to come out and be giving us statements because they think we are their slaves. Do we look like slaves to you? Do we look like slaves to you? 
all of you, the military should be ashamed of itself in Nigeria. Look at what has happened. How many times have Tokono accused the, the, the Navy of connivance? Connivance with the people who are stealing, who are stealing our oil. How many times? There have been reports of the bribes that the, the chief of Naval staff has collected. The Nigerian military has not done anything about it. Every time, do you know how much we are losing? We are losing on, 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 on the oil stealing that is going on, the oil theft that is going on. That is supposed to be the wealth of the nation. And you dare to come out and tell us nonsense. And you dare to come out and tell us that our citizens can, cannot protect you, will not allow. Go out there to terrorists that, are, that are every day they are daring you. Shameless bunch of people. Look at military in other in, in other countries. They will say their allegiance is to the constitution. No executive, no president or illegitimate president will command them or make them say anything. They stand for the people. They stand for the nation. They stand for the constitution. But the shameless Nigerian military that we have, they stand for nothing other than themselves and their big upon uh, bellies and their pockets. And whoever it is that that is president and the ruling party, whether the president is legitimate or illegitimate, that is what they stand for. And you dare to come out and tell, and tell us all sorts of nonsense. Part of the problem that we have in Nigeria today is due to the Nigerian military. To the Nigeria, it's due to the Nigerian military that has not been able to, to secure the nation. Are you guys not ashamed of yourself? Most of the time, even the so your own men have written several times to, to the commander in chief. Right from, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they started writing right from the time of Jonathan. They wrote, they wrote to Jonathan. They wrote to Bukhari. Uh, uh, Bukhari. They have written to the illegitimate uh, uh, one person we have right now, the former governor of uh, of Lagos, the Bola They've also written. What are they written, writing about? How they have constantly been sabotaged. How it seems as if the military, uh, military top back are in connivance with the terrorists. How their allowances are not paid. How they are not paid very well. The other time there was a report. What was in that report? Military were being fed. Soldiers were being fed once a day. How do you feed somebody once a day and expect to go and fight war and actually win war? Meanwhile, you, you people, you, you, your, their top officers are over there fighting over contracts, fighting over contracts for coffee because they will tell the people that they, are, they, they, they want they will, they, that will be killed if money for somebody for some other people. Nigerians have lost their finest because the military has not been doing well. Our citizens are being killed anyhow. Yet instead of that military to sit down and focus on the terrorists that that, that have told them to attend to know what the issue is our own Nigerian military that is now ragtag, ragtag and not the terrorists are supposed to be ragtag and and yet they come and all you are interested in is to talk about protest. It is you they said to come and to, to come to, to come and attack protesters. October 2020, 20, you went out there and you killed citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And you still have the audacity to have man. And you you guys were not ashamed to come on panel and say that oh it was the governor of Lagos State that called you. It was are you people emu you emu you did the call you know if you know go go there. Can't you people say you won't be there? You won't be there. That your allegiance. It's for the constitution and the people of, the, of, of Nigeria. And so, therefore, nobody should call you on that for you to go and be attacking protesters. You sit down there, and then you feel funny of this sort, and then they're going to call. And then you go out there, and you show that you suffer with them. We suffer not with them. We did in Nigeria. All of us will get to suffer together. What kind of nonsense is that? You think we are slaves in our own country? You think we are slaves? It's you that you're coming out to tell us, oh, you, you, you will not, you will, you will not stand and argue. Is that your business? Go and focus. Those people, those terrorists that have been killing you and killing us inside Abuja, the federal capital, federal capital territory of this country, the federal capital of this of this nation. Terrorists are coming in to kidnap people. People are not sleeping. People are starting to do guard on their own because security agen a a agencies have failed. And then you are there as slaves and boy boy to, 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 to an illegitimate commander in chief. You're coming to tell us that all oh, protest, people should not do protest and whatever. And you're not by